Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. Simple test today. I want to find out the efficiency difference between a three-bladed prop and a two-bladed prop. I'm running a T-Motor F90 1500 kV. I'll be running it with a 1550 6-cell battery, and we're just going to do some testing. I'm going to pull the volts, amps, and watts. We'll take a look at thrust and efficiency, and then I'll do two runs with a three-bladed prop and two runs with a two-bladed prop, and we'll see how they compare. I've already got the Judd set up and ready to run this Azure three-bladed prop. This is a 6145 by three, and the gem fan here is a 6042 by two. There is a slight difference in pitch and diameter, but this is the closest I could get. One thing I do know is the pitch doesn't make a huge difference in terms of current draw, so the diameter is pretty close. It's 6.1 on the three-bladed versus 6.0 on the two-bladed. I've got my six cell battery charged. Let's do the test. I've already spun the motor, so I know it's spinning in the right direction, and I know the prop is fairly well balanced, so I'm just going to go for it. Here we go with the first run on the Azure 6145x3, running a 6-cell 1550 Liperior 75C battery. Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon. For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen. Okay, for amps, I saw 43. For the volt sag, it looks like 24.29. Really strong. And the watts, 1,000. Wow. Let me stick a thermistor on there real quick. I know it's had time to cool, but actually it doesn't. It actually gets a little bit warmer as it sits. All right, looks like about 57.9C. That's it for the first test. I'm going to switch batteries now, get this one on the charger and get it peaked up. Okay, I've got a fresh 6-cell battery. This is pull number two on the Azure 6145x3 with a 6-cell 1550-75C Liperior battery. Here we go. Okay, for amps, I saw 43. Again, very consistent. On the volt sag, 2422, very consistent. On the watts, I saw 1007, very consistent. On the thrust, I saw 2125. On the RPM, I saw 26612. I didn't trap the RPM on the first run. I'll get that during post, though. I'll see what that is. Okay, on the temperature, it looks like 71.0. We'll go with that. I'm going to put this battery back on the charger and switch over to the two blade. Now, in the spirit of full disclosure, I need to let you know that those batteries are brand new. They are brand new. So some people might say that's not a good test because they want to see the batteries get a couple of cycles through them. And some people will say it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to lie, that motor's hot, man. It's hot. It's hot. <laughs> I did not write down the max amperage for this motor before I came out. I'll have to do that in post as well. Normally I write that down, but I didn't catch it this time. And FYI for my calculations, I'm using an estimated all up weight of 673 grams. And what I did is I looked up, I weighed the chassis, I weighed the frame, and I looked up all the values on the other parts like the motors, the flight stack, the props, the, I didn't weigh the GPS or the receiver or the Bluetooth module. Those, those are marginal. And I didn't include any fluff for superfluous items like tapes and glues. Not that there's much of that on a quad, but anyway. So I'm looking at 673 grams as an estimated all-up weight for this one. 
All right, this time we're gonna spin the gem fan 6042 by two. I've got a fresh six cell battery. I'll be looking for a thrust and RPM, and here we go. Oh, that just sounded evil. All right, in terms of amperage, I saw 39.3. And on the volt sag, 24.29. The wattage, it's looking like 918, 918.8. And I trapped thrust at 1840 and RPM at 2866. You check my volts, min again. 23. I saw 23 on the sag. And for the temperature on the first run, I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it 52.5. Here we go. This is pull number two on the F90 with this gem fan 6042 by two. In terms of amperage, 39.55. On the volt sag, 23.13. And on the watts, it's looking like 933.3. And that's it. So let me take a temperature measurement real quick. Okay, 58.6 on the temp. All right, time for a little math. Well, these results are a little bit surprising. It's not exactly what I expected. So let me point out a few things that I noticed when I did the math. So first off, efficiency on the Azure 6145 by three, the best efficiency number is 2.11 to one. That's the best efficiency in the entire test. On that second test with the Azure 6145, I got 2.11 to one. Now my efficiency, the way I'm measuring that is thrust in grams divided by watts. So on that second test, we made 2125 on thrust and the watts, 1007. So you divide those out, I got 2.11 to one. So from a pure efficiency standpoint, this one got the best number. The second best number was 2.04. So even if I average those two together, the three bladed prop turned in better efficiency numbers in this use case. That said, the two bladed prop, we saw a reduction in amperage of about four amps. So again, not, not what I expected. I expected the reduction in amperage to be a little bit more substantial, especially given that we've got a lower diameter, lower pitch, and one fewer blade. I kind of expected that to drop a little bit more. Uh, in terms of thrust, on the high end, 2125 for the Azure, and on the low end, 1835 for the Gem Fan 6042x2. Thrust to weight ratio, 3.05 to one for the first test, 3.15 to 1 for the second on the Azure. So that's the winner, 3.15 to 1. And then on the two bladed props, the best performance was 2.73 to 1, which is not terrible. I mean, I'm sure it'll fly fine with that. But the thing I'm curious about right now is the difference in mid throttle performance. So I'm kind of wondering what mixed flight performance will look like. I can tell you right now, I'm a little surprised at these results. I expected the gem fan to be more efficient than the three bladed prop, and I don't see it that way. And I also expected a little bit more amperage conservation on the 6042 by two. And there is a little bit, but we're only talking about four amps at peak, at peak. So in mixed throttle flying, it feels to me like the three bladed prop is the way to go. I think the next thing to do is get the motors on the quad and go do some flying. 
I'll switch the props out, I'll time my results, and I'll do some comparisons in real life flying and compare that to what we saw in the test stand. All right, that's all I've got on the T-Motor F90. If you like this kind of content and you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know new material hits the channel. If you'd like to support the channel, you can join me on Patreon for as little as three bucks a month. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy.